I had nowhere to go. I was exhausted. I felt like I was gonna die, either from the cold or from hunger. I hoped that I could rest for a couple of hours at Tiffany's place, get my energy back, and figure out what to do next. I'd only been to her new apartment once before. I only had a vague memory of exactly where it was, but I was sure that this was the street. The police. They're watching Tiffany's apartment, of course. They assumed that I'd show up here looking for a place to hide. I have to find another way in. Another homeless person. I get the feeling they're everywhere. They're watching me. <laughs> I must be getting paranoid. window leads to Tiffany's apartment. If only I could find a way to open it. <sighs> I 
think it budged a little. Uh, it's open a few inches. Uh, I almost had it. I wasn't too proud about breaking into Tiffany's apartment like a common criminal, but I had no choice. I hadn't eaten in almost a day. I was starting to feel weak and tired. You have one new message today at 1041. Hello, Miss Harper. I'm Detective Carla Valenti from the New York City Police Department. I'd like to ask you a few questions. I'll try calling you back a little later today. Hmm. Nothing to eat here. Hmm. Nothing to eat here. For an expert's point of view on the subject, uh, we have with us today one of the most renowned specialists on Mayan civilization, Professor Dmitry Kuryakin of the Mesoamerican University here in New York. Uh, thanks for being with us today, Professor. You've written a fascinating book on Mayan rituals. And uh, I wanted to ask you if... A specialist in Mayan civilization? He'd known what Kechtuklan means. Gotta meet this Professor Kuryakin. 